Okay, welcome back. <clears throat> we are talking about the principle of rhythm. The axiom for it is everything flows in and, sorry, everything flows out and in. Everything has its tides. All things rise and fall. The pendulum swing manifests in everything. The measure of the swing to the right is the measure of the swing to the left. Rhythm compensates. Okay? Rhythm compensates. And so, think about action versus reaction. Think about advancement versus retreating. Think about an ebb versus a flow. A forward movement and a backward movement. A rising and a falling. Increase and de decrease. Also, creation versus destruction. And that happens simultaneously in nature. Um, courageousness versus fearfulness. Powerfulness versus powerlessness. Okay. And um, this takes place universally with, <clears throat> for example, the suns, the different worlds, humans, animals, the mind, our energy, and matter. And there's a reference to the law of neutralization. Neutralization. Let me um, get there. Okay, the hermet hermeticists have grasped this principle of rhythm, finding its universal application and have also discovered certain means to overcome its effects. Okay? to be able to manage the effects, to stabilize, to not move from one extreme to the next with rapid succession, okay? Within themselves, by the use of the appropriate formulas and methods, they apply the mental law of neutralization. They cannot annul the principle or cause, cause it to cease its operation. They cannot annul the principle of rhythm or cause it to cease its operation, but they have learned how to escape its effects upon themselves to a certain degree, depending on the mastery of the principle. They have learned how to use it instead of being used by it. But let me pull up this understanding of the law of neutralization. There's a web page that I got this information from called consciousnessliberty.com. <clears throat> consciousnessliberty.com. And that's consciousness hashtag. No, it's one big word. Liberty. <laughs> I apologize for the delay. I had the tablet that I normally use run down. The power ran down as it was sitting here on a charger. So here we go. Okay, applying the law of neutralization and never having another bad day again is the title of this article from consciousnessliberty.com. If you look up the law of neutralization, that'll be one of the first uh, web pages that comes up. To change your mood or mental state, change your vibration. <laughs> That's a quote that they have from the Kabbalion. Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
Applying the law of neutralization brings mental and emotional balance, stability, and sustained success in your life. And I'm scrolling down because I found the meat of the inf information down near the bottom. There are many planes of causation, and this is another quote from the Kabbalion. There are many planes of causation, and one may use the laws of the higher to overcome the laws of the lower. Okay? The law of neutralization works by applying the laws from the higher planes of consciousness, the mental plane, to the lower planes of consciousness, the emotional and physical planes of consciousness, to neutralize the swing of the pendulum caused by the principle of rhythm. The principle of rhythm manifests on the mental as well as the physical plane. And it says rhythm may be neutralized by an application of the art of polarization. The moods and feelings you experience on the emotional plane of consciousness are due to the backward and forward swing of the mental pendulum, which carries us from one polar experience of emotion to the opposite, such as elation and depression. First, we will understand what the planes of consciousness are so we can affect the higher upon the lower. According to various spiritual and esoteric teachings, there are seven to 31 planes of consciousness that range depending on how they are broken down and explained. Below, I have defined them as seven to keep it simple, although we can be fur they can be further broken down. Number one, or the highest plane of consciousness, is the logic plane. Sor sorry, logoic plane. The logoic plane. The lowest or densest plane is the physical plane at number seven. The highest plane vibrates at the highest frequency and the lowest plane vibrates at the lowest frequency comparatively. They are logoic or monadic plane. Number two is the divine plane. Number three is the spiritual plane. Number four is the buddhic plane, the buddhic or unity plane. Number five is the mental causal plane. Number six is the emotional astral plane. And number seven is the physical plane. And that is taken from Wikipedia on esotericism. Okay. We are focusing on applying the law of neutralization on the mental plane in bold above from this list, you can see that the mental planes lie above the emotional and physical planes. So we will use the law of neutralization to balance our minds and consequently our emotions. And from the Kabbalion, they quoted, the hermetic master or advanced student polarizes himself at the desired pole and by a process akin to refusing to participate in the backward swing, or if you prefer a denial of its influence over him, he stands firm in his polarized position and allows the mental pendulum to swing back along the unconscious plane. It also says, an individ all individuals who have attained any degree of self-mastery accomplish this more or less unknowingly and by refusing to allow their moods and negative mental states to affect them, they apply the law of neutralization. So that says to me, if a person is conscious of their current homeostatic position, if they're conscious of where their emotions are at a given moment, and someone tries to influence them in one direction or another, they recognize it, they recognize the motion that's being attempted on them and they're able to consciously neutralize it. They consciously negate the effort of the other person of the circumstance or the situation to move them from where they are homeostatically. If you think of someone like the Dalai Lama 
who has practiced inner work for many, many years. He's conscious of himself. He's conscious of his actions, his reactions, you know, his emotional state at any given point. And he practices not letting others influence that, or he practices moving it himself. You know, we practice it when we're doing our shadow work, when we're doing the clearing of the negative energies, when we do, when we analyze the programming that we've been given and we either keep or we reject some of what we were taught based on how effective it is for us. If it brings us the results that we want, if it doesn't bring us the results that we want, we often release it in favor of something that's more conducive to what it is we want for ourselves. So in that way, we unconsciously use the law of neutralization to maintain the emotional position that we want to maintain, okay? And it says the master, however, carries this to a much higher degree of proficiency. And by the use of his will, he attains a degree of poise and mental firmness, almost impossible of belief on the part of those who allow themselves to be swung backward and forward by the mental pendulum of moods and feelings, okay? So it says, I have bolded the key parts of the above, which, which I read. And it says, by using the law of neutralization, you allow the swing of the mental pendulum to swing in the unconscious mental plane instead of the conscious mental plane. Like, you know where the shift in emotion can take you, but you don't allow yourself to be on that ride. You recognize with your long-term thinking where that can um, have you end up and you choose not to go on that journey. <laughs> okay. It's like, let me be, let me be plain. I see your bullshit <laughs> and I am rejecting it. Okay. So this is achieved by willpower. And it said, there's a highlighted, another highlight here that says, the will is superior to the conscious manifestation of this principle. The will is superior to the conscious manifestation of the principle of rhythm, you know, the swinging of the pendulum. Although the principle itself can never be destroyed, we may escape its effects. By the principle operate by the principle operates never oh, excuse me but the principle operates nevertheless the pendulum ever swings although we may escape being carried along with it so what does this mean exactly master the uses of willpower by doing two things one polarizes himself with the selected mental state they stay say positivity they select positivity and they polarize themselves in that way and stays there basking in positivity, then raises his ego or raises himself to a higher plane of mental consciousness. It is akin to rising above a thing and letting it pass beneath you. Okay. Once again, I see your bullshit and I'm calling it not participating, not participating in it for myself. This causes the swing of the pendulum to manifest on the lower plane while the master is on the higher plane, thereby escaping the pendulum swing backward as it manifests on the unconscious lower plane. Remember, the master's conscious mind is not, is, excuse me, is now on a higher plane. When you're able to recognize what's going on and rise above it or not engage, I refuse to engage with your bullshit. <laughs> then you're able to see, you know, what's supposed to happen, but you're not having that manifest for yourself because you have higher goals. You're not delving into the lower energies. You're not allowing the lower energies to influence you in a way that they might have previously. It takes willpower. It takes consciousness. Okay. And there's a quote by Abraham Lincoln that they put in here. You can tell the greatness of a man by what makes him angry. 
Okay. There's some more examples here, but like I said, if you put in a Google search for the law of neutrality, you'll come across this article. Most likely it'll be one of the top three or four that come up um, by consciousnessliberty.com. Okay. I believe that's the end of my notes on this right here. So I'm going to end this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you've gained some benefit. If you have, please hit the like button, follow, subscribe, hit the notification bell if this is your first time so you know when I post these videos. Alrighty, be well until the next time.